Hey, welcome to Let's Talk Money with Money T and Simply C. We will be discussing financial behaviors, past experiences, relationships, and more. We're going to show you how all those things play a role in your financial decisions. Talking about spending plan, saving, and investing, and identifying your behaviors with money. All of these things will help you jumpstart your road to financial freedom. So today, I want to ask you, what would your 50-year-old self say? Oops. Did I say your age? (laughs) My bad. (laughs) My bad. You you was all over me last week for telling our age, but... I mean, okay, sorry. I look good. (laughs) To your 20-year-old self. Well, I think um, one of the first things I would tell my 20-year-old self is... Not spend money that I don't have. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it just it's a trap. It's just a, a a vicious cycle, right? You you continuously rob Peter to pay Paul. Or I'll tell you back when um in my Harris House days for all those Kansas City listeners, you know, <laughs> back in the Harris House days, and when there were actually stores downtown, mm-hmm. and I worked downtown, so we would. Say that we're going to be going out one night. Girl, I would go up to, I think it was hit or miss or the limited. I would write me a check. Mm-hmm. It was back when we wrote checks and it took seven days for it to hit the bank. Mm-hmm. I would go and write a check for an outfit for the club. <laughs> yeah, I, I could calculate, you know, you just knew how many how many days right. it would take for that check to hit the bank. And and so I would go and and do stupid stuff. Just to go to the club. That wow. Yeah, got to so, have got to have a new outfit. Got to have a new outfit. Um, I mean, be cute. I, I mean, yeah, you want to be cute in the club. <laughs> <laughs> Just dumb, wow. but you know that stuff. It, it catches up with you. So as um, the processing times got a little faster, you go out and write that check, and guess what? You end up with. Um, some insufficiency, and do you know how much insufficiency cost? It was like twenty five, thirty five dollars each. Wow. Yeah. So you know, one time that did hit me, and I think I had like maybe five checks come through. Like seriously, I had a hundred and fifty dollars in insufficiency. Wow. Just making it rain to the bank. <laughs> 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 yes. So just $150 that I already didn't have. So so you got a $150 plus outfit. Girl, I hope you was fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know I was. Somebody <laughs> bought a drink or something. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. So that that that's one idea. And then another thing that I've done is just borrowing from my 401k. Like, mm-hmm. I could be a super millionaire if it wasn't for taking money out of the 401k, 401k, thankfully they make you pay it back. And it's right. not just something you can just continuously withdraw from. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, just, just dumb. This. But, but your 20 year old self apparently thought, thought it was something that was very important. Right. Sure. Yeah. You gotta be cute. Well, I'm saying even to borrow from your 401k and really not being taught to really not touch it. Yeah. Yeah. There are things that I just thought were I, I wanted to do. So, mm, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So, I just wanted to say, you know, don't do that. Like, that is money that I could have that could have been investing. I could have been earning interest on. And, um, you know, now I'm trying to make up for it. If you will. So that's something that I would definitely um, advise my 20 year old self is to to save, save something, plan for the future, budget and just don't spend money that you don't have. I would tell my 29 year old self, don't make huge choices when you're in a not so good place. You making a big decision like that. 
when I was in that space yeah. was not wise. Yeah. You know, this is a little off the topic, but on the topic, the, exactly what you said there. I was reading this article this morning and there was this football coach at Tennessee, the University of Tennessee, um, Chattanooga. I don't know if you heard this, but anyway, he made some, he must have been emotional or something, made these comments about Stacey Abrams mm-hmm. um, and the, ele- the recent election and he lost his job. So just to me, that is one of those things that when you're in an emotional space or just ain't thinking clearly. Right. Is not the t- those are how things affect your financial decisions. Yes. <laughs> so he yes. out here just all willy nilly on tw- Twitter. Just give people courage. I, I just they just turn into fools on, <laughs> yes. on Twitter. Something behind hide behind those thumbs. Right. And that phone or keyboard or whatever you doing, it just give people courage to say stupid stuff. And here this has financially, clearly, because that was his job, right. impacted his family. So that's you 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 hit that on the head. Just don't make decisions, critical decisions, life changing right. decisions when you are in a emotional. Yes, you um, have space. really got to step back. Yeah. I mean, in taking deep breaths really does work but i mean you might you know <laughs> you you may need more than that but i'm just saying yeah. just you got to step back and uh assess the situation and yeah. be smarter I, I, the point that i'm trying to make is so i bought the, we bought this brand new home and i was i had a temporary job so you guys know i depleted my savings because i was living off of like a big dumb baby and so <laughs> So we had this plumbing issue and one day we called the plumber and the uh, storage room would back up. So we called the plumber and it was like $125 if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. I didn't have $125. Huh? We did not have $125 for the plumber. Girl, was it a time that you could have wrote a $125 check and it took seven days for it to get... Girl, I'm just <laughs> What, it wasn't during those days, <laughs> simply. <laughs> it was I was going to say, you could have just wrote them 125. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That is not what we want to do <laughs> <laughs> at all. So so anyway, um, it took me to a place where I was like, that my old training and what I knew kicked right back in. And I said, this would never, ever, ever happen to me again. So I had and I, I set up an emergency fund, mm-hmm. you know, and I started contributing to it every paycheck. And for real, I started off, I think it may be twenty five or fifty dollars a month. I could have did more than that, but, you know, I didn't. And, and another point is here you have two grown people making more than enough money. Yeah. Making more than enough money yeah. to handle a hundred and twenty five dollar plumber for real. That's one of them. You should really be ashamed of yourself. Yes. You know better. So that's so that kicked me right back into the okay, T, you know what to do. So yeah. I started that uh savings process and I started building that bank account and didn't walk into that issue ever, ever, ever again. Yeah, that's what's up. It has been a pleasure. See us on Monday. At 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. BSB Radio, feel the sound. Yeah. <laughs>